Brian and Christina Beck say their 14-year-old daughter Meredith was a bright, straight-A student who did Taekwondo and played the piano. But around December of 2018, they say she quickly started to act different. I mean, it was horrific. We, we didn't know what was happening. Christina Beck says her daughter first complained about not feeling like herself. She said, well, I just, I just sometimes feel really scared and um, confused and kind of feel like I'm going crazy. Meredith's parents and her pediatrician thought it may be anxiety. The 14-year-old saw a child psychologist and even took anxiety medications. But the Becks say Meredith's condition worsened. So she's starting to act lethargic. She started to say she was hearing voices. She would feel like someone was touching her back and no one was there. Within just days of seeing the pediatrician, the Becks say Meredith stopped sleeping and would throw up at least once a day. We had no idea what was happening, and, and truly, the pediatrician didn't really know, and the psychologist didn't know. One day, they got a call from Meredith's school. And the counselor had found her at her locker, catatonic, just turning the locker, wouldn't respond when the counselor called her name. After this, Meredith's parents took her out of school. The pediatrician suggested an EEG to check for seizures. So we took her to Children's, they did the EEG, it was totally normal. But at home, things weren't so normal. Her fingers clawed up like yeah. this, so that she couldn't use her, use her fingers. At times, Meredith became catatonic, not even moving or responding to her name. Just stood in the room, arms by her side, looked straight ahead, and I would, would say her name, she wouldn't respond. Test after test, doctors still weren't getting anywhere. They finally decided to bring in a neurologist to get a closer look. Immediately when I saw her, I grew very concerned. They said she's got a tumor the size of a deflated football on her left ovary and she's scheduled for surgery in the morning. Doctors say her tumor looked like it had brain cells, causing Meredith's immune system to create antibodies that attacked her brain. Meredith's neurologist, Dr. Mary Ricard, diagnosed her with autoimmune encephalitis, also known as brain on fire. Unless you know what you're looking for, it's sometimes difficult. In Meredith's case, her immune system went after the NMDA receptor in her brain. But if it attacks NMDA, that's what the drug PCP works on. So think of a child acting like they're on PCP all day. That's what we're dealing with. Doctors removed Meredith's tumor and treated her with steroids and a blood transfusion. Then Meredith began rehab to get her speech and movement back. The neurologist told us that 12 years ago, our daughter would have been put in a psychiatric unit and she would have died there because they didn't know as recently as 12 years ago what was happening or how to stop it. Within a month, she was back to her normal self. Ricard says this is because they acted quickly. Demand what you think is best for your child, okay? Because it's heartbreaking to us and to the family if we delay care on these kids. We were so lucky and we're so grateful that we got our daughter back. Lots of other families don't. Now, Ricard says doctors are trying to find the best treatment for autoimmune encephalitis. They also want to find out what exactly triggers the illness. Reporting in Omaha, Quinesia Fraser, KETV Newswatch 7.